How does God's love in Christianity compare to that of Allah in Islam? So in the central message of Christianity is love. That is the reason why God created this world, so that he can be in relationship with us, so we can be in relationship with him. And most Western thinkers think that all the religions teach that. So it's the same. But that's a very unsubstantiated position. Um, Some Muslims will refer to the 99 names of Allah and say, look, one of them is Al-Wadud, one of them is the loving God. Uh, But that's devoid of semantic content. When repeatedly in the Quran, it says over and over again, God does not love this person, God does not love that person. Whereas the God of the Bible is absolutely loving. He loves all people. And love is the reason why Jesus came to this world. Love is the reason why Jesus died on the cross. Love is the reason why Matthew 28 says, go out and make disciples of all nations. Love is the driving ethic of Christianity. That's not the case in Islam. But also number two, so that's, that's you know, the next life. But on this earth, um, people are lost, spinning in circles, trying to figure out why am I here? What's my purpose? What am I here to yeah. do? Yeah. The answer has always been built into going back to the Trinity. We've been woven in love. This whole universe operates in principles of love. You have to lower yourself and serve others. You have to be humble enough to love others to ultimately receive purpose. But you're only going to get that in Christ. So why were you made? Why do you have the passions that you have? Why do you have the gifts that you have, the skills that you have? How do you make it click? You make it click by realizing who God has made you to be, why he gave you these talents, these desires, and then living in that purpose. Yes. And so by giving up Christ, you're giving up the purpose for which you've been created uh, and the way you can live life to the full, as Jesus says in John 10. So you're giving up the afterlife and you're giving up this life. For those of you who are here, I think that we can probably put you into um, a few groups. Um, For one, uh, a lot of you are Christians who are here and who are learning about Islam. And I would like to ask you to consider why. Why are you here? If you are here to satisfy some curiosity and then to go back to your to your daily lives unchanged, unwilling to reach those who God was willing to die for, I'd like to ask yourself, have you grasped the gospel? Have you grasped what Jesus said when he said, as I have loved you, so love one another? If you're afraid of Muslims and you think, oh, I don't know how they're going to respond to me, uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Most of these people are genuinely loving and caring people. And you're missing out on a great opportunity of, of engaging in a new culture and in, in investing in, someone li- in someone's life in a way that will reverberate through eternity.